Hello my loves, it's Monica and today I'm so excited because I'm filming a video that I've been wanting to film actually for maybe a couple of years now but I've always felt a little bit, I don't know, maybe a little insecure in filming it but I love fashion and I share a lot of fashion content over on my Instagram and my TikTok. For my whole life I've always been really frustrated because finding inspiration or fashion inspiration on a variety of body types has always been really difficult for me and I feel like that's finally changing a bit but still to this day if you go on Pinterest and you search like aesthetic outfits like you'll be hard pressed to find a diverse range of body types not to mention like diversity in general and that's something that I want to do my own small part in trying to change so yeah excited to be doing a bit of more fashion content here on my youtube channel so yeah in this video I'm going to be sharing a variety of like aesthetic inspired outfits and I'm obviously going to be modeling them a little bit about me I am for the most part like a size 18 um, especially in bottoms on up top I fluctuate between like usually like an extra large 1x sometimes a 2x i'm hoping that this can be a source of inspiration for you whether or not you have a similar body type to me and i'm also really excited because i'm working with koi footwear for this video they were so kind and sent over a bunch of their shoes for me to try out and style so i'm going to be also styling them for this video and guys the shoes are so cute like I have owned koi footwear in the past and love them and just all of these shoes are just everything oh my gosh literally I now have the shoe wardrobe of my dreams so thank you to koi footwear and now on to the rest of the video so my first outfit incorporates a lot of different trendy elements in a way that I think like I will also be able to wear these pieces for many years to come the first is this top obviously crochet and knit items are super popular right now which is great for me because both my mom and i love to crochet and knit so my mom actually knit this crop top for me and then i crocheted these little butterflies to go on them and i feel like the whole butterfly motif along with like the whole y2k aesthetic in general is really popular right now so i just thought that was a really fun added element i get so many compliments whenever i wear it and it's something that my mom and i made together which makes it super special for me i matched this top with this really cute cow print skirt and okay i'll be honest it took me a little while to get into the cow print oh there's just something like okay if i'm being 100 percent real uh obviously if you've grown up larger uh there's a certain certain animal that maybe people have used to make you feel sad and bad about yourself and so it definitely took a little bit to get over that hurdle but honestly there is something so kind of powerful about reclaiming that and just like wearing it proudly so yeah rock the cow print is <laughs> all i have to say i love this skirt super cute and with this outfit i styled these sandals from koi footwear and honestly these might be my favorite from all of the shoes that i got like it's hard to say but these are just so comfortable and also just like such a good summer like spring summer basic i have been wearing these non-stop they're like walking on air i want them in every color possible they're so amazing i love these and yeah i feel like the black and the hardware on the shoe along with the like bold print on the skirt i don't know i think it like just adds a cool juxtaposition <laughs> word of the day to the like softness of the top so here's the first outfit i ended up adding some purple accessories to bring out the purple butterflies on the crochet and knit top and i love this top it just makes me so happy whenever i wear it added some yellow socks these are actually bt21 socks uh, just to bring in that yellow a bit but yeah i love this outfit so much i feel so fun and summery in it 
So I ended up really basing this outfit off of this next pair of shoes because they are definitely a statement and they're not going to be everyone's taste, but I love them. And they are these pastel dreams. Yeah, I am obsessed. They have a chunky platform, a cute pink pom-pom, and then this like pastel color block throughout. I think these are so fun and a really cute play on a, on a style that is typically a little bit darker, a little bit punker and I feel like this like is like a cute punk vibe you know that, that whole like creepy cute aesthetic that's what these are and I love them so much they are definitely a statement so with these I obviously wanted to you know play into the pastels but I also wanted the outfit to complement instead of compete with the shoes I've had this yellow smock spaghetti strap dress for years it's one of my favorites i ended up adding this like cute little pastel rainbow patch onto it a couple years ago and i get so much wear out of this dress i yeah i absolutely adore it bought this on etsy unfortunately it is no longer available but it's something that i'm sure you can find anywhere something similar to this so i decided to just layer it over a simple white polo top and i feel like this is really fun because it kind of plays into that like preppy aesthetic that's been really in the past couple of years i swear nothing makes me feel quite like myself as getting to wear a fun cute pastel outfit i love all of these items together the shoes I think are such a moment and I love the platform, I love the colors, I love the little pom-pom, like the attention to detail is so cute. And then I also added on all this really fun jewelry, I made some cute clay rings, I had these like pink headband and earrings, and then the same purple pastel bag from the last outfit. Then as soon as I saw these on the website, I knew I had to have them. There are these super cute like denim platform Mary Janes and they have bears on the toes. Little fact about me, I love bears. <laughs> like I just, I don't know what it is. I just think they're so cute. Love Winnie the Pooh, love Paddington, love, you know, just bears hanging out in the wild. <laughs> I just think they're the greatest. So as soon as I saw these, I knew I had to have them. And uh, these are so comfy. Like all these shoes are really comfy, but these like, like the sandals, I could just wear forever. They're like walking on air for me. I love them. So yeah, these are great. And as soon as I saw these, I kind of knew exactly how I wanted to style them. So obviously Dark Academia is like really popular and has been for a few years now and I love Dark Academia, but it's not really like my aesthetic personally. I feel like obviously I like colors and pastels, but I really like the sort of academic vibe of Dark Academia. So I've been kind of mixing the two, that sort of like cute pastel aesthetic mixed with Dark Academia and calling it pastel academia. I've seen some people call it kawaii academia, cute academia, whatever you want to call it. I also know that light academia exists, but I feel like that's much more neutral and I'm not a neutral girl. So. so yeah, this is my take on a sort of cute academia aesthetic. So I went with these Mary Janes, obviously. And then I've had this little vest for ages, but I ended up actually, it got lost in storage and I finally rediscovered it. So I was really excited about that. But it's just this really cute, like dusty pink vest with some embroidered flowers. So I wore this and I paired it with one of my favorite skirts, which is just this brown tennis skirt. I purchased this off of Etsy and I always get lots of questions about where I buy my tennis skirts. Honestly, I've been collecting tennis skirts for many, many, many years because for a long time it was like impossible to find tennis skirts if you were like above a small <laughs> basically um and so yeah i've been collecting them for quite a while from every place i can find I've got a few custom made on etsy but i've also purchased them from just any retailer honestly where i find a tennis skirt from hot topic forever 21 target and here is the outfit i just love all of these items put together i ended up tucking my top into my bra which is a quick tip for if you ever want to crop something and you don't want to actually cut it but i styled the shoes with these cute dusty pink socks that perfectly match the sweater vest 
and then I added a pearl headband and a tote bag to complete the look. So these next shoes are definitely a bit of a bolder one again, and they are these baby blue amazing shoes. They're like sneaker inspired Mary Janes with studs on the front and the back. These totally give me 2021 bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, like forget whatever, who was adapting the Powerpuff Girls Freeform, forget whatever they were trying to do. This is what Bubbles should be wearing when she's knocking out Mojo Jojo. Like, I just love these so much. And as soon as I saw them, I knew that I wanted to style an outfit that was just as bold and in your face as these shoes are. So I had a couple of items that I wanted to style. But first I have this blue jacquard skirt. I think that's how you say it. Honestly, not my favorite skirt. I definitely was scammed on Depop with this skirt. Uh, definitely not the best quality. Quality, but it's fine it still looks cute and I'm going to get as much wear as I can out of it but yeah the color is amazing I definitely I'm loving that about it so I styled this also please don't judge me I know that in the try on portion I definitely needed to steam <laughs> this skirt but I can't find my steamer anywhere I have torn apart my entire bedroom trying to find it no idea where it is so i did the best that i could um and then i paired it with this orange like bra puff sleeve kind of top and i just think it's so cute this is a top that i definitely i'll be honest like i have to really push myself to wear it because it does it, it's obviously like it's very cropped it's basically just covering the girls and that's it <laughs> Uh, and so yeah, I definitely have to push myself a little bit to wear this one out But wearing this one the skirt really high-waisted definitely helps with that And honestly, I just feel so cool in this outfit like these two together Orange and blue truly immaculate like I wearing this outfit made me realize that I desperately need to wear more orange and blue together So that is definitely a thing that I am doing from now on Okay, I am obsessed with this outfit. I feel like a pop star from like 2001. I ended up pairing it with these green sunglasses that I have and this uh, yellow flower bag that I love. And yeah, the shoes are just so fun, so cool, unlike anything I own. So I love styling them and I feel like they just make every outfit that much cooler. As far as accessories, just added this white headband and these cute egg ears. But yeah, truly orange and blue, a superior color combo. So for the last outfit, I really wanted to just do some pattern mixing. I love mixing different patterns because I just think it makes such a bold and fun outfit. So for this, I grabbed one of my new favorite dresses, which is this one. This is from um, a indie brand called Adelia Safira, and I adore her prints. Like she makes the coolest patterns and I ended up picking this dress up in a sale and oh my gosh it's definitely one of my absolute favorite dresses ever it's so comfy love a puff sleeve and the print I never ever buy anything black but this was just so cool I could not pass it up so I got this and then she also makes detachable collars out of all of her fabrics so I picked up this one which is another checkered print but smaller in size and pink and it has these like smiley faces all over it and I love pairing these two together because it's a little bit I don't know like silly fun bold in your face and I just think it's such a cute outfit together definitely not for the tame of heart but I love it and then for shoes I ended up going with these black platform Mary Janes from Koi Footwear and I love these these are definitely like an everyday kind of shoe for me I can wear these with basically every outfit in the world and they're gonna look amazing and I also love them because they're cool while also being like simple and understated enough that if you're doing a very bold and in your face outfit these again complement without like taking away you know so yeah I love these so much I've been getting a ton of wear out of these for sure and I love this outfit together
and here is that final outfit i really love that pink collar i feel like it just brightens up the dress i'm just very much so not used to wearing black clothes even though i'm sure for most people this is like hardly considered a black or dark item but yeah i love the pink collar i also added the same flower bag from before and put my hair up with some butterfly clips because who doesn't love a butterfly clip but yeah i love this outfit so yeah those are all of the outfits that i wanted to share today i hope that this video could inspire or just entertain you i'd love to hear from you all which outfit was your favorite or which pair of shoes were your favorite let me know in the comments down below and thank you all so much for watching i'll talk to you next time bye